In this video, I'm going to compare two screenshot tools. I'm going to compare the GNOME screenshot tool or the GNOME screenshot utility with the Mate screenshot tool that is the default screenshot tool in Ubuntu Mate. Now let me first bring the two up and we'll compare the looks of them. Now the take screenshot that you saw in the menu, this is the Ubuntu Mate screenshot tool. Now when I go back to Applications, Accessories, Screenshot, this is the GNOME Screenshot tool or the GNOME Screenshot utility. Now they have very similar, or at, but they basically have the same identical features, but they have a lot of the buttons, or not a lot of the buttons, some of the buttons in a different configuration or arrangement. If you look over here in the Mate Screenshot tool, you can see where it says Take Screenshot uh, Title up here. This says take screenshot title up here, but this is also a button, whereas this is not a button. It's in the title bar. Now the buttons on here is help, cancel, take the screenshot button. Here's your help, here's your cancel, and here's your take screenshot. So the configuration of the buttons are just in a different arrangement. However, it has the same features where you got your take screenshot, you can grab the whole desktop, whereas this one says grab the whole screen, means the same thing. Grab the current window, this one says grab the current window. And you can change the little radio button so that it just grabs the current window on the screen, or you can just select an area to grab. Now to be consistent, I'm gonna leave them both at the default to grab the whole window. And I'm gonna also leave a delay of two seconds on both to be consistent. And I'm gonna uncheck the include mouse pointer. Now if there was a window up on the screen, a big window, you could leave it to where you include your window border or, or uh, take out the border. Uh, since I'm only gonna be taking a picture of the entire desktop, that's really not gonna be an option for us. So right now, I'm going to cancel out the GNOME screenshot tool, and I'm going to take a screenshot of using the Mate screenshot tool. So let's say take screenshot, wait two seconds, and it, after two seconds it will pop up. The default is the pictures folder. It's got screenshot at, and it's got the date and time. I'm going to just replace that with, I'm going to go back, I'm going to put dash, and I'm going to put Mate uh, on the screen and, and that's all I'm gonna leave there now in this little dialog box I'm a person that come from the Windows environment in the past and I've switched to Ubuntu Mate a few years ago and I'm so used to hitting OK buttons here or like save buttons here that when I first started using this before I changed over to the GNOME screenshot tool when I'd go to save it I would even though I see the word save here I'm just so accustomed to clicking this one and I've lost so many screenshots by not having a little number there for delay and hit catching the screenshot instantly and when I go to save it I hit new and then realize oh man I didn't mean to hit new I meant to hit save so I'm so used to the OK's or the save buttons being here but that's no big deal that's not what I'm coming that's not the major issue here I'm gonna go ahead and hit save now it saved it in the picture folder so if I go here and I click on picture, you'll see that it did save it with the PNG extension for the Mate screenshot tool. I open it up, and as you can see here, it does have the extension of PNG. Now let me go ahead and close this. I'll go ahead and close that folder. I'll go to accessories, I go to screenshot, and I have the same thing open at the bottom, my website, and I'll show you that in a moment, the screen, simple screen recorder that I'm recording this video, and the one screenshot. So that way, when you're comparing the sizes, you're not generating uh, a screenshot with something different from one picture to the other. So I'm just going to go ahead and say take screenshot. After two seconds, it will take a screenshot of the desktop. Now this is using the GNOME screenshot tool. So I'll go over here and I'll replace the from and the date and time, and I'm going to just write the word GNOME. I'm not going to write the whole word screenshot tool because it's got screenshot implied. Now we'll come in here and put a dash to be consistent. So I named it GNOME or screenshot GNOME. It's going to save in the picture folder. Now a while ago I didn't really point out, but for the Mate screenshot tool, when I hit save button, it had PNG here. So when I hit save for the GNOME one, as you can see it's got JPEG. Now it will not have if you install it by default. It will also be a PNG file. However, the GNOME screenshot tool can be customized or modified or changed so that you can change the extension from a PNG file to a JPEG file and I'll compare the two in a moment then I'll show you how you do that hit save now I'll show you one more time and I'm not gonna save it for the second time I just didn't point it out when I hit save the screenshot so I say take screenshot this was with the Mate screenshot tool and as you can see here with the Mate screenshot tool the extension is PNG now I'm gonna cancel because I don't want to save another one 
So I'm going to go back into my pictures folder. And as you can see here, I got a screenshot for the Mate screenshot tool, and I got a screenshot for the GNOME screenshot tool. So I'll double click this one, then I'll minimize it. I'll double click this one, and then I'm going to close out the folder in the background. Now, here is with the screenshot tool from the GNOME screenshot tool. Over here is the one for the Mate screenshot tool. So if you look there and then open up this one, they look very, very similar. There's not hardly any difference to the natural eye or, natural eye or the naked eye. When you look at them, they look almost the same. Now, comparing the data in the lower left-hand corner, the one that was created from the GNOME screenshot tool, and I'll go back to the Mate where you can see them both. This is the Mate one. They're both at 1600 by 900 pixels, 1600 by 900 pixels. This one is 205.6 kilobytes. This one is 1.8 megabytes. So if I was to move the decimal over to make it kilo, I'd move it over three places to the right. That would be 1,800 kilobytes, whereas this one is 205.6 kilobytes. I could save five images because five times two is approximately 10. I could save a little over five images to the space of this one image. So as you can see here, by default, the Mate screenshot tool saves it as a default PNG image, whereas you can change or modify the GNOME screenshot tool to save it as a JPEG, and their qualities look almost unnoticeable. Now, if you're really working with graphics and you're concerned about the zooming in feature, I'll show you where the big difference is. Now, keep your eye on these uh, the numbers on my Conky for the clock. I'm going to just zoom in with my mouse, and if you notice the zoom down here at the bottom, 128%, and I'll scroll up, I'll go to about a little over 200%. I'll try to get it close to 219 as I can. So I'm going to zoom up, try to get to 219. I'm going up to 2... There's 219. They're both set at the same identical zoom, 219, and here's 219. Now, if you look at the PNG, you still have nice, smooth edges. They are starting to look a little jaggedy, but not much. When you look over here, these are not really jaggedy, but they have a little bit of a ghosting around them when we zoom in. And that's because the JPEG uses a compression, whereas the PNG doesn't compress them like the JPEG does. But there's still, when you're looking at them, there's hardly any differences. It's You have to really, really zoom in. And if you zoom in, notice that you still don't see a lot of that ghosting. You know, you see almost like a shadow, but it's not really ghosting. Whereas if I keep zooming in here, you start seeing that ghosting around the edges. So that's where the advantages of the PNG compared to the JPEG. Now, if I go back to the normal 100%, if I keep scrolling back with my mouse pointer, I'm 101. I'll back back up to close to 100% on this one. They're almost nothing to where you can notice the difference in. So for your typical screenshots, taking your typical screenshots for your hard drive space, like this is a laptop that I'm on, it's a Hewlett Packard uh, Pavilion DV7 laptop, and it has a very small hard drive. So I decided to put in a default, the GNOME screenshot tool is my default screenshot tool. So when I just take a simple screenshot, it saves it as a JPEG file, allowing me more images, taking up less space compared to the PNG. Now I didn't uninstall it because I'm someone that likes to every now and then when a, a new update uh, comes out, or at least sometimes when new updates come out, I'll see if I can try to configure or figure a way out to configure it so that I can save it as a JPEG, and so far I haven't. Now, let me show you from my website how you change the GNOME screenshot tool so that it will save it as a JPEG rather than a PNG. Now, this gives you a little description of the GNOME screenshot tool. This shows you how to install it, so if you don't have it on your system, you open up your terminal, and you type in sudo app get update, you can select this, right click, copy, place that into your terminal, paste it. Now I'm not going to because I already have it installed, so I'm going to just close this out. And then you simply just copy that, paste it into it. And if you prompted for your password after the sudo app get update, place your put type in your password and press enter. And then it may ask you, are you sure you want to install? You hit yes. Now to change to the default of JPEG, you just simply copy this in and paste that into the terminal. Now let me show you. I'm going to change it back to the PNG to show you how easy it is so that this would be what you see on the default. I'm going to open up the terminal and I'm going to show, shut my two images down so it, won't, uh, it shouldn't have any effect anyhow, but I'm going to close those. I'm going to go here 
I think there's a space after the PNG. I'll delete that. I press the enter key. All right, now I'm going to just leave my terminal up so I can go back and change it. Well, I'll close it out. I can open it in just a moment. I'll minimize this because I'm going to change it. I'll go back to my GNOME screenshot tool. I'll say take a screenshot, and when it comes up, notice the extension on it. The extension is now PNG. So if I go here and I say GNOME, I'll back up, put G N O M E. I'm going to put O2 because it's the second time. I hit save. Now when I go back into my picture folder, it will save the size as the original mate. So this was the gnome, the original gnome that I took with the PNG, which was 205 kilobytes. This was with the default PNG. If you look, it's 1.8 megabytes. So the gnome installation just by the default installation is no difference than the mate. But what makes the gnome one special is that if you go to my website, you can copy this command right here. You can open up your terminal since I've already closed the terminal. You just open up the terminal and let me close out this picture here. You can open your terminal, put this into your terminal, paste it, press the enter key. Now notice it didn't even ask me for my password. I close this out now. I minimize my screen, uh, this one here. I go back to my accessories screenshot. This is the known one. I'll say take the screenshot. And when it does, you'll see it's back to the extension of JPEG. So I can come here, overwrite the date and time, backspace, put a dash, say GNOME 03, hit the save button, go back to pictures. Here is the GNOME 3 one. Uh, no, here's the, the GNOME 3 one. That's the GNOME 2. Here's the original one. It was 205. Here's the one when I changed it to a PNG, back to the default, was 1.8 megabytes. And now here's changing it back to the JPEG, which is now 206 kilobytes. So as you can see, the JPEG, by changing it to save them as JPEG, if I were to take a lot of screenshots, and a lot of screenshots would be in this picture folder, you would see that it would fill up this hard drive much quicker. Now, when you look at the size, it says free space of uh, 569 gigabytes. Now, it would take a very long time with images to fill this up. But I'm not just working with images on this computer. You know, sometimes I might rip off a DVD. I might make videos like I'm doing to put on YouTube. So with uh, 569 gigabytes, you know, if I don't keep it clean over a period of time, it would not take long to fill it up. Now, another advantage of JPEGs over PNGs, if you were sending several screenshots by email as an attachment, you would definitely want to send an attachment that's 205 kilobytes compared to an attachment that is 1.8 megabytes. So that's another advantage too. So when you send in pictures to your friends, especially if they have slow speed internet, even if they got DSL, the slow speed DSL, it wouldn't take much longer to download a bunch of the pictures from the Mate screenshot tool compared to the GNOME screenshot tool after you modified it to save it as a JPEG image. image. So that is a comparison of the GNOME screenshot tool compared to the MATE screenshot tool. Now if you decide that you want to install the GNOME screenshot tool, you may want to change the default screenshot tool on your system. Now I'm not going to go through here and show you what I did because I have the step-by-step -step illustrated pictures on my website. So if you're concerned or if you want to change the default, you can change the to where it works with your shortcut keys. So when you press the shortcut key, Rather than bringing up like your print screen, rather than bringing up the Mate screenshot tool, it will bring up the, the GNOME screenshot tool, allowing you to save it as a smaller image. So hopefully this, been, this video has been beneficial to you so that you understand the difference between the GNOME screenshot tool and how you can modify it or configure it to save an image as a JPEG file and compared with the Mate screenshot tool. I'm not criticizing the Mate screenshot tool. It's an excellent screenshot tool. However, I do like the compression ability of the known screenshot tool. Hope this has been a help to you and have a great day.